Taft is an unlikely home for a rock star, and few here know the nice old gentleman in the 57 Chevy is a rock and roll legend. From 1965 to 1997, Ed Cassidy, or Cass, was the drummer for Spirit. Their biggest hit, 1969's I Got a Line on You. That was followed by Nature's Way. Spirit's blend of rock, jazz, and pop made them unique. Our band, our music, and the individuals within it uh, are, were and are a very important part of that culture of the 60s. And, and we made a mark, we made our mark in the 60s. Just like bands like the Allen Brothers, the Doors, the Beatles, the Stones. It wasn't just their music. Most rock musicians were young and long-haired. Cass was middle-aged and bald. But they weren't really sure about my age. Rock historian and former DJ Don Fisher notes Cass was a bit of a hero to the generation of rebellious youth. I think he was accorded a lot of respect because he was, and even at that time, an older gentleman who uh, was living the rock and roll lifestyle, which, you know, it's a young person's uh, field. I realized that if I was going to play rock and roll, I had to get down to where they were. Because of his shaved head, his young bandmates nicknamed him Mr. Skin. Ed is now 80 years old, making him the world's oldest rock and roll drummer. Born and raised in Bakersfield, Cass quit school to play in the big bands. After World War II in the Navy, it was jazz and finally rock and roll. It was cool. And because you know, I was a starving jazz musician and you couldn't make a nickel or a dime playing that. So when I got into rock and roll, it was really cool because they accepted me and vice versa and thought I was like pretty hot stuff because I had all his experience. He played with some big names, but it was when he teamed up with his guitar playing teenage stepson, Randy California, that he made his mark with spirit. They were great, and I think they, they appealed to a very loyal cult audience. Um, that would probably be one of those audiences that drove many miles to see them when they performed. Cass and Randy kept spirit alive for three decades, touring the world and occasionally catching the spotlight back at home. Here tonight with their hit, one of my favorite songs of all time. I got a line on you. Spirit, folks, yeah. Spirit's end came in 1997 with the tragic accidental drowning death of Randy. Today, Cass spends a lot of time with his loyal fans on the internet. My family, most of my family, have been my fans. Because they're the ones that stay in touch. The focus of his life has been music, and he's a little disappointed in what he's hearing today. There is no rock and roll today. Uh, there are people trying to copy what it used to be. For example, Spirit's 1968 song, Fresh Garbage, became Feel Good Time by Pink for the last Charlie's Angels movie. It's a copy, but it shows Spirit's sound is still strong, and so is Ed Cassidy. In Taft, Gene Higginson, ABC 30 Action News. Yeah! Don't you just love it? <laughs>